Now, in the 5 a.m. update from the Central Pacific Hurricane Center, the hurricane watch for Hawaii County was canceled, but a tropical storm warning remains. Now, the Big Island is currently outside the cone of uncertainty, but that doesn't mean you can let your guard down, people, because you should never underestimate Mother Nature. And one person who knows about that very well is Hawaii County Mayor Harry Kim. Good morning, Mayor. How are you doing this morning? I'm doing good, and uh, thank you very much for emphasizing that. You know, uh, although we are lucky enough to have our watch canceled and uh, prayers and good wishes for the rest of the state because the, that are a warning. But uh, thank you for your advice because that's what people should heed. You know, you'll never know and things are unpredictable. Uh, science is not good enough to be site specific, so everyone should be on the caution and be careful. So what type of conditions, Mayor, are you seeing or hearing about now? Oh, we had the police and fire department monitored throughout the night. Uh, affected districts potentially primarily the north and eastern side of the island and it was so good to hear that throughout the night none of the districts of the island of Hawaii experienced any kind of adverse conditions of uh, wind, rain or surf so it was the past 24 hours has been good but we'll continue to monitor it but at this time uh, I think we're going to be very lucky on this one. Now you and your team I know they've been very hard at work preparing for Douglas. What was done in preparation? I think uh, everything that we do normally on any kind of a tropical storm hurricane threat to make sure number one we monitor, make sure that the appropriate type of advisors go out to the public and make sure the shelters are identified and ready to go and all of those things were done. Uh, closures of parks, uh, places, isolated places like up YPO Valley, cancellation of all camping, just precautionary things so we can keep people out of harm's way. And how different has it been preparing for this hurricane? Because we're also dealing with the COVID-19 pandemic. And not much really except for awareness that it does affect your shelter uh, situation where you can't have, you know, the standard type of shelter with so many people in one gym. So that had to be adjusted. Uh, make sure that you do make provisions for people that are isolated or quarantined and also obviously for the homeless. But outside of that, it's basically the same. Now with the high winds and gusty conditions expected, are you really concerned and worried about the downed power lines and debris damaging homes? Not if the present track and intensity of Hurricane uh, Douglas continues because it's, you know, the, away from the island of Hawaii, yes, you know, it still have within the radius of tropical storms as she passes by, but uh, really uh, this is where Hawaii Island has been very fortunate for this particular system. Now, when the hurricane watch for Hawaii County was canceled, did you exhale and breathe a sigh of relief because you're like, man, we dodged the bullet because we're always getting hit? Well, I did more than a sigh of relief. There's a, a silent prayer of thank you. Now, high surf is also expected for all the islands, especially the east-facing shores. What's your advice? Because we always hear about those one or two surfers that are going to try and go out and catch some waves. I think the good surfers know that hurricane conditions or hurricane surf are not the kind of surf that is good for surfing. And they, they have to be aware that, you know, when we talk about hurricane conditions of surf, wind, and rain, and for you surfers, my goodness, uh, if you're not worried about yourself, consider the people that have to go and rescue you. Uh, this is not a time to go test nature's power because nature will win. Now, because you have so much experience with these emergency situations, do you have any advice for people across the state? You know, I was just looking at data. When was the last time that all three counties north of us were on warning? And you know, when we talk about, let's take Hurricane uh, Eva. You know, Oahu never was on a warning, we're just on a watch. Uh, I think people, when they hear things like it's a category one or tropical storm, you know, they think, oh, no danger, or it's not as hard as a three or four or five. Uh, I ask all of you, get a piece of tin roof, 
stay out in the wind conditions that's just 40 miles per hour and see if you can hold that piece of tin roof or anything. Uh, don't, don't take uh, these things lightly. The best thing is to heed caution, be extra safe, and let it pass by. But don't endanger yourself, don't endanger anybody else. And just be careful, heed the warnings and advisories that the emergency management and Central Pacific Hurricane Center puts out. Uh, these are good advisories. You should be on the very safe side of things. And uh, I was asking this morning to be more familiar with other islands and the type of problems they have during high surf and those things. And, you know, the typical people of uh, the gawkers or just to want to go out there and see. Uh, what else can I say except uh, don't endanger others? You know, uh, don't endanger yourself. This is a serious situation. It's a hurricane warning for sake, you know, to uh, heed that. Uh, this will pass in two or three days, and uh, just take it easy, heed the warning, stay safe. There you have it, Hawaii County Mayor Harry Kim, and I like how you said, don't challenge Mother Nature because Mother Nature will always win, right? <laughs> oh, absolutely. <laughs> All right, there you have it, Hawaii County Mayor Harry Kim. Thank you so much for your time, and Mayor, please stay safe. And you too, and uh, Oahu and the state's lucky to have television coverage real time. Appreciate you guys much. Thank you very much.